Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many WooCommerce developers encounter. Our viewer wants to know how to add a custom description field in the shipping methods section of the backend. Let's break it down. The viewer is looking to add a text input field under the shipping method in the shipping zone page, allowing users to input a custom message. This message will then be displayed on the front end. However, they notice that the existing database table, WP WooCommerce Shipping Zone Methods, lacks the necessary column for this data. The viewer is seeking guidance on whether there are any hooks available that can facilitate this process. Specifically, they want to know how to add both a custom field and a custom column to store the data effectively. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now let's continue on. To add a custom description field in the shipping methods section of WooCommerce, we first need to identify the right hooks to use. The primary hook for adding custom fields in the shipping methods is WooCommerce Shipping Method Form Fields. Next, we will create a function that utilizes this hook to add our custom text input field. This function will be added to your theme's functions.php file or a custom plugin. After adding the custom field, we need to save the data entered by the user. For this, we will use the WooCommerce Update Shipping Method hook. Finally, to display the custom message on the front end, we can use the WooCommerce Cart Cart Shipping Method scores full label hook. This will allow us to append the custom message to the shipping method label. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To add a custom description field in shipping methods, start by using the WooCommerce init action. This allows you to access all shipping methods. Next, loop through each shipping method and apply a filter to add extra fields. This ensures the custom field appears for all shipping methods, not just one. Finally, define the custom field settings, including the title, type, and placeholder. This will create a text input for your custom description. This method is straightforward and ensures that the custom field is added to all shipping methods effectively. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To add a custom description field in shipping methods, specifically for flat rate and free shipping, you can modify the function.php file. This involves using a filter to add extra fields. In the code, you create a function that iterates through the existing settings. When it finds the cost key, it adds a new field for the custom description. Finally, 
return the modified settings array to include your new custom description field. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To add a custom description field to shipping methods in WooCommerce, you can use a specific code snippet. First, hook into the WooCommerce after shipping rate action. In your function, check if you're not on the cart page. Then, get the currently chosen shipping method and its settings from the database. Retrieve the custom field value from the settings and display it if it exists for the selected shipping method. Remember, the shipping method settings are stored in the WordPress options table, not through a WooCommerce function. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To add a custom description field in WooCommerce shipping methods, you can use a specific action hook. First, create a function to define your custom field with an ID, label, description, and placeholder. Next, you need to save the custom field data when the product is updated. Use another action hook to handle this. Make sure your field array includes essential elements like ID, label, and description. You can also add optional attributes like class and style for customization. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution that you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.